continuing in the Kutiman to a Tinyana to a base. From this comes easy birth. When a woman gives birth, she could she would give birth easily. Uh, because when a woman comes to give birth, her her feet or her thighs get cold, as the rabbi said. The the gemara that's the the gemara says in Sota that when a woman gives birth, that her feet get cold or let her thighs get cold. And through this, through the process of her thighs getting cold, um, through that the birthing happens. Because the dumim, the blood, goes up from the thighs, um, I think into the place where, into the stomach, or into the area where the baby is. And then the place up where the, where the baby is, is pressurized. It's pressured with blood. Um, and then the pressure in the blood pushes the child, the baby boy, or the baby boy, the baby, the baby to be born out of the uh, out of the mother. After this whole process, after the birth, the blood returns to its place. This is the way the Gemara explains and describes the actual b- birthing process. Now the blood going back into its place is a bechina of toda and halacha. Why do we? How is it the bechina of halacha? We said halacha is bechina of toda. We explained that in the previous year. Now we're showing that uh, halacha, halacha also means for things to go properly in its place and in its path. So here the blood is going back in its in its pra- in its proper path and place. And also, the halacha is a bechin of halada, a bechin of birth. Now he's going to show how halacha also works and is set up in, in a similar way, just like birthing. There are people that support Torah. That they give money, people that support Torah and give money to, to, uh, to people studying Torah. And at first, the people that are supporting um, the Torah learners, they give away, give out from their money, that um, they, they lose some of their money because they gave it away. Because when they give money to a Chacham, it's lacking by them, they don't have it anymore. And this is that this is compared or parallel to a woman who's giving birth and her thighs get cold. We're going to explain the parallel in a second. Kidam tati mashma because blood can have two uh, can have two meanings. Blood can mean blood, uh, damim can mean blood, or damim can also mean money. So the Rebbe is saying that blood and money are uh, are synonymous. Is actually a a Gemara that says "Dami Tati Mashma" that their their blood can uh, can mean money and can mean also uh, sorry "Dami" can mean money and also can mean can mean blood. So uh, so the comparison between blood and money is clear, and the Rebbe is saying that this is also what happens by by the legs. He's going to explain a little more. Now, through the money that they give to be machzik and to help um, the Chacham, the halachas are born. The new psakim, new halachas that uh, the Tam Chacham is machadish, they are created through the uh, through the ability, apparently, that the Tam Chacham has to continue to learn through the donations that he gets from, or the tzedakah, or the help that he gets from the people who, um, who give money to Torah. So through that, they are able to, to learn more halacha, to pass in more halachas, and that is a bachin of chesed. And this is the, the, the concept of birth, uh, birthing and chesed, and uh, new halachas are like the same, same idea. Now through the ashpas chesed, through the 
to the influence of the chesed, the new chesed that comes out through the birthing of halacha, and the halacha we said is the of chesed, so through that, the, um, the chesed, the lack uh, that, the, that the supporter of Torah had when he gave his money over to the person learning Torah, is filled up. This is the Bechina of pleasure of the world to come. The Bechinas Vehaya or Lavana Kirahana, Hanema Lawsuit, which relates to the the or Lavana, the light of the moon, which will be like the light of the sun in the future. Kelavana Tivaka, Bechinas Chisan Rukus, because the moon is the Indian of uh, of coldness, has the, has a nature of coldness. Uh, which is a concept of lack and coldness. You know, we know. I mean, I heard. I mean, if you were to bring water up to the moon or other things like that, I mean, things below the dark side of the moon, at least, is uh, is uh, is tremendously, tremendously cold. And even the light side of the moon isn't, doesn't have any heat of itself. I guess um, it just has the heat that it receives from the from the sun. I'm not so sure how that's different from here on Earth. If the sun were to stop, I'm not so sure. What, well, I guess we have some kind of heat here on Earth that we don't know. The maybe from the the atmosphere and the pressure of the air or whatever it is that there is some type of heat. I mean, you do see that when the Earth turns around and the and the the light side of the Earth goes to be the dark side of the Earth. Um, well, actually, the sorry, the sun, Earth doesn't turn around. There's a whole discussion somewhere on a different topic. But the when the sun goes around the Earth and the sun reaches the uh, the other side of the earth, like right now, and it's dark outside, then um, we see that it's not uh, too freezing cold, uh, even though it is cold. It's not uh, It's not like it is on the moon. On the moon, without any heating, uh, it would be, it's um, totally, uh, totally freezing cold. I don't know the temperatures, you could, um, you could look it up. Asidim Rismas Karachamas in the future, the light of the moon will be like the light of the sun. Bechinas Mule Chisar, which is the which is representative of the feeling of the lack. So this is why the burden, the new chesed, which is Mashpia to the which is which gives chesed, gives new uh, shefa to the person who donated money to Torah, is um it's the it's Synonymous with or parallel to the uh, pleasures of the world, uh, pleasure to, the pleasures of the world to come. Since in the world to come, the uh, lackings, the histronos, the what, what people are missing will be filled up. Rizevachinas. <laughs> Eli told us the Shemaim Vats Bibam, and this is the, the this is relates to the Indian of the Apostle says Eli told us the Shemaim. These are the uh, descendants of of the Shemaim Vats of the uh, Shemaim and Arts, the skies, the heavens, and the earth. Bibam and the creation when they were created, and the Medrash Dashans it says don't read Bibam, say uh, Be Avram with Avram. Hainu Chesed Avram has a middle of Chesed. Uh, the three of us have uh, the three and the cover for three meters chesed, gvura and tiferes. Chesed, gvura and rachman. And Avram is uh, had the meter of chesed. He embodied the meter of chesed. He lived the meter of chesed. Ki haolada aydei bechinas halachos. Because burden is through the bechina of halachos. As we explained before, Shem Bechinas Chesed, which is a Bechin of Chesed, Kanal, as mentioned above. Ze Bechinas Mizmar Vesoda, real, the Hashem Kulat, and this is the Bechin of the Pasuk, Mizmar Vesoda, a song for of thanks. Haril Hashem Kulat, cry out to Hashem, uh, all of the land. The Toda Osios Toda, and Toda is Osios Toda. So here we see the connection between Toda, uh, which is Halacha, and Toladas, which is Burden. Haril Hashem Kolat, Rosh Hateva Salacha. And Haril Hashem Kolat is also Rosh Hateva Salacha, it's the same Pasuk. Kamuva, Ki Halachas Bechinas Toda, Hem Bechinas Toladas. 
Because halachas, which are Bechina of Torah, as we explained it in the previous show, are Bechina of Torah, Tol- they are also Bechina of uh, birthing of children, of giving birth, Kanaan. And this is what the rabbi said. Asa chola esraglov. Asa got sick on his feet. His feet got got became crippled. Ad al shalsa ngaya betamid chachamim. Since he made the tamid chachamim, he forced them to do service of the king to do work. I guess it was cust- I think it was customary back then. Uh, it was customary back then. For, uh, for them to, it was like an script, enforced labor, kind of, for, like uh, nowadays in Israel, they force people to go to the army, so in those days, I guess, they forced them to, uh, to do all, maybe it was a type of army duty, but it was, they forced them, um, you know, they forced them to do all sorts of services they came, like to build, I guess, buildings or other things like that, so it was like a, a tax. It was a type of tax, I understand, that they used to, call, they used to make people come in for whatever, what, a few days a week, a few days a month, or whatever it is, to, to, to work for free for the king. Now, through forcing, because he forced the Tamil Khalim to, uh, to work for him, and he stopped them from learning halachas, stopped them from being mechadish halachas, from making new halachas, through this, his feet got sick, his legs. Because halacha is a bechina of tikkun and kiyum for the raglan. Because halacha is a bechina of uh, the pathways of the of the legs, pathways pathways of the blood. Shechosim v'holchim kaseder, where the 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 blood goes back after being raised up from uh, from the legs, it goes into the to the stomach area. So it goes, uh, the halacha is bechina of going back into its leg and, and which is its proper place. So if the world, or if the, um, the I guess a person causes the, an Indian, a general principle in the world, to, uh, for, the, for the legs of the world, so to speak, or a certain ruchnistic aspect that we're speaking about before, of a birthing that, uh, that isn't going properly, that uh, the blood... Uh, the world is in a state of birthing where the blood of the legs of the world, so to speak, go into the stomach. And the, uh, the, the post-ke halacha, the people that are learning halacha, they are the ones that cause the blood to go back into its place, cause, cause the birth to take place by creating new halachas and the blood to go back into, into place. And, um, and these tamil uh, chamim are not able to do, uh, to learn halacha, so then there is no birth and there is no blood going back into place. That means the, leg of, the legs of the world will be damaged. This is like on a worldly level. This is what um, Asa, the, the king, this is what he suffered with um, on, a, on a personal level since he caused this to happen. He caused the Pagam on a, you know, on, a, on a worldly level and his punishment was on a personal level. This is how it happens and this is a general way things, things work. A person can cause damage, it causes damage in, the, in, a, in a certain aspect of the world. Here, Asa caused damage in the aspect of the world, which would be called the legs. Um, so, by, by stopping the Tamil Kham, who are who caused, the Tamil Kham themselves caused the aspect of, in the world called birth. So, um, so this is why Asa got, uh, got sick on his feet. His feet got, he uh, um, became crippled, because he stopped the Tamil Kham, who fix up the bachina, the, the sickness in the legs, and he, um, so he became, he became crippled. V'chen, yeah, v'asashpagam therefore he became crippled because he taught, stopped the Talmud from learning halachas and he forced them to, to do work instead.